hey my pretties welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a little different i'm going to share with you one of the treats that my kids like i have been requested by my daughter to make some more uh however i'm going to tweak it usually i do chocolate this time we're going to do butterscotch so these are my bacon butterscotch candy apples okay you guys so for this recipe is super simple super easy i have some wax paper uh, I have my popsicle sticks and these came from Dollar Tree. I have my pack of bacon and I don't like the thick bacon for this. You want it to be the thin, kind of like thin. So I just use the classic. And I have two bags of butterscotch Toll House. Now in the past, this will be my first time using butterscotch. In the past, I usually use chocolate um, to do this, but I don't know when I was in the store I saw butterscotch and I was thinking hmm the butterscotch will be good with the bacon because it's salty this is sweet the apple is kind of sour now like I said my kids like when I do this but with chocolate so this will be their first time getting the butterscotch so we're gonna see how that goes but I have two bags I have a few apples uh, green apples preferably don't like to do this recipe with red apples and then this is the bowl that I'm gonna be melting my butterscotch in it's kind of caught like you know how you do like the double boiler so I'm gonna put water in here and then I'm gonna put my morsels in here and let it melt as I stir it up here and that's about it so I'm gonna get started I'm gonna fry up my bacon first and then I'll show you everything else okay the bacon is almost done Okay, so now the bacon is done, but before I go ahead and chop that up, I'm going to get this pot boiling, and this is going to be what I'm gonna flash, uh, how do you say it? I'm just gonna dip my apples in here for about five seconds when the water is hot and boiling, and then you wanna spoon them out so that you can wipe them off and get the wax off of the apples because you wanna get that, um, that shiny coating, you wanna get that off of the apple. So boil you a pot of water and then you're just going to let them sit in there for about five seconds and take them out because you don't want to cook the apples. You just want to uh, loosen up that wax and then you're going to wipe it off with a, a rag. But I'll show you that as well. And then over here I have my pot that has water in there with my bowl on top. And this is going to be used for the butterscotch. I'm going to put the butterscotch in here and I'm going to have my daughter stirring it until it starts to melt down. Okay, so what my daughter is doing is, as you can see, they're starting to slowly melt and that's the water in the bottom pot causing the bowl right here to get hot. You don't want it to be directly in the pot because, you know, you can burn it. So you just kind of slowly, this takes a little bit of time, but you just keep stirring it until it melts all the way down. And while she's stirring that up, I'm going to go ahead and cut up the bacon. I kind of like to stack them together. And you want to make sure you get them nice and crispy. That way they, you know, they'll crumble a lot easier when it's time to put them on the, um, on the apples I don't use these like fatty parts on the end so I just got rid of those or I'll move those over and then you just want to chop this down into bits and pieces how many of you guys can deal with bacon in the kitchen and actually not eat a piece like even this smallest piece right here it's like I have to eat it. <laughs> I don't know. It's just something about bacon. It's like I can't cook it without eating a piece. Okay, so that looks like it's almost done. It's getting there. You can keep stirring it a little bit more. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and drop these in the water real quick, like I said. And I'm just going to do three at a time. And... That should be about it. You just wanna go ahead and get it to where the wax will come off of it. And this one. And then all you do is take them and dry them off. And you wanna scrub them or rub them kinda hard to get that wax off. 
But if you if you know what it feels like when you boil an apple, you can feel that it's matte. It's not it's not um slippery. So the butterscotch will stick to it a lot better. You finish those? Okay. So we have the three that we're gonna start with. Okay, I put the sticks in there and now we're just gonna add the butterscotch on them. So you're just gonna dip them in and kind of move them around, rotate it. And then I like to let it sit for a minute. If you like, you can use the spatula to, you know, kind of like paint it on up, up here. I'm not no professional candy maker, you guys. <laughs> Okay, and that's it. And then I'm just gonna let it sit for a minute. Try to let some of that drip off. And then I'll wipe the excess at the bottom. And that will be the first apple. Now I'm just gonna repeat the steps for the other ones. Now she's doing hers. God. It's okay, it don't gotta be perfect. Work that apple, girl. <laughs> Work that apple. <laughs> I can use this hand. It's okay. Okay, and now that we have the three done, you kind of want to move fast because you want to go ahead and get the um, bacon on here. And it's however much you want to put. And that is the first one. Now they look a little crazy, you know. It's one of them things that it's like, oh, it looks crazy, but it's really good. And you just want to repeat the process. If you want, you can actually put bigger pieces up here at the top, um, around the rim, but I'm not going to do that. There's that one. And these are going to go in the refrigerator. I think this is enough for one more. And that is it pretty much. Now what you wanna do is just put them in the refrigerator for a little while so the butterscotch can get hard. And that's it you guys. I put them in the refrigerator, took them out, and then I like to cut them down into slices um, like this. As you can see, the candy will crackle and break off, but it's fine. Just pick it up. It's almost like a peanut brittle. <laughs> and you know, you have a little snack. So that's what it looks like after you cut it down and you know, put it in the refrigerator. Let them sit out for a little while if you'd like. But your family and your kids, I think, will like it. It's almost like candy, but just with a little bit of saltiness from bacon and some butterscotch. Like I said, you can use chocolate if you like, if you don't like butterscotch. But, um, yeah, we wanted to try something new. So thank you guys all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this different little video. And I'll talk to you real soon in my next one. Okay, bye.